This is the Maldives you see on social media. Water villas, perfect beaches, and extortionate price tags. But is there a side to this country that no one knows about? I've made it. The ground is boiling hot. I don't have a plan. We need a, we need a plan. We need, we need a Step one is exploring the capital city. Step two is to visit a local island and face my biggest fear. I haven't quite realized what I'm doing yet. And then step three, staying at the cheapest five-star resort I could find. Do you know when the bus to Male comes? Half an hour, half an hour. Half an hour? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, turns out I need to get a ferry. You know where the boats to get? Here we are. It's not quite a yacht, but it will do. I eventually made it onto the ferry and was en route to one of four different islands we'd be visiting in this trip. But first, <laughs> mission one complete. I fed myself and I have drank. There's 150,000 people that live on this island. It's supposed to be going underwater which sounds a bit problematic. I was told to go to Sultan's Park and it is right behind me. So let's go explore. I'm having a great time. I'm really enjoying this. Sultan Park was actually built where the Royal Palace used to be. And that building, the National Museum, is what remains of it. I then came across one of the coolest buildings I've ever seen. The King Salmon Mosque. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, fine. All day, sir, six miles. Do you like it? Nah. Place, okay. Place is like okay. Yeah. Place is okay. Work, work, work. Nice to meet you. Nice okay, to meet you. And we have arrived at the artificial beach. Ta-da! Those waves are f***ing gnarly. So I actually quit coffee about two weeks ago, but I've just walked past the coffee shop. After a bit of caffeine, I was running around in circles, not really knowing what to do. But then I met Mohammed. Nice to meet you, you Mohammed. Fish market, interesting place. Resident house and uh, uh, on my way to the fish market. Please never underestimate the heat of the Maldives. Asif is taking me to his shop. I'm real Maldivian. I like more island. How do you feel about all the, the resorts and everyone coming here? It's good? The best. Fishing and tourism, you know. I'm gonna get this one for my mum. And I can smell it. The aromas in the fish market. It really stank. But then I found some sea pancakes and also witnessed a car robbery. And that right there is the president's house. But I need to find my house. Well. My hotel. I got on the ferry and made my way to the second out of four islands we'd be visiting, the island of Hulu Mali, which is actually an artificial island made to meet the growing population of Mali and of course, those rising sea levels. Do you like this song? Yeah, I like the song, man. Yeah, this is the Hindi song. This island is a completely different vibe. It is not busy at all. And look at this. There is a beach. This is paradise. <coughs> Hotel room tour. There is a bed, a telephone, one, two, three lamps, a television, a welcome drink, a spacious bathroom, and finally, the view. If you want to get technical, you can kind of see the sea. So my hotel room might not have the best view, but when this is on your doorstep, you can't really complain. This is supposed to be the best restaurant on the island, according to TripAdvisor. Here we have ourselves a tuna steak. Good morning, everyone. I know I said I had to be up early, but it's 9.40. This is early for me right now. I need to go get a boat. Yushi. Still half asleep, I sat and waited for the peaceful boat journey. Welcome to Mafushi Island. Um... Yeah. There is one reason I've come to this island. Tomorrow morning, I'm going on a trip for the day. Genuinely petrified. It is now 11.30, I haven't eaten yet. So I need to get food. All right, this place is meant to be very, very high rated. Here is my Maldivian breakfast. This is really good. Oh, there's a in here, get out. This whole breakfast has only cost me four pounds. I then set off to find my hotel and had a long two minute walk to um, the other side of the island. Look how cool this place is. And here is the local football pitch. This is hotel number two. Welcome to the bathroom. Yeah, it's not bad actually. But there was no time to waste. I put my shoes on and strolled down the sandy streets to find the famous Bikini Beach. Welcome to the local shops. Ooh, best drink in the world. This is Bikini Beach. I don't know if it's famous, but it's the only beach on the island where you can wear a bikini. I'm literally getting eaten alive by flies right now. I can't deal with this. I'm getting in the water. Ow. It's like walking on Lego. What an absolute scorcher. Here at Bikini Beach, forty pounds a night. You get to enjoy the Maori. Oh my God, it's a fish! A fish, and it's in the sea. I swear to God, this one fly has been sent to ruin my day. And this is Water Sports Beach. I got myself a canoe and paddled into the distance, as far away from that stupid fly as possible. Whoa, not the fly! Safely made it back to shore. My guy is up the tree. 
cutting down coconuts. And that one was for the boys. But then I found out why most people don't visit the Maldives in rainy season. Whoa. The rain has finally stopped. Okay, I spoke too soon. Oh my god. I'm currently taking shelter at this Indian restaurant, but you know what? I'm actually gonna grab myself a car. I'm off to bed as I have to be up very early tomorrow. Kind of excited, kind of terrified. Oh. I'm so tired, oh my god. You know when you wake up, but you're still in your dream? All right, so the plan today, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't think I've fully processed it yet, to be honest. Before I reveal where we're going, I need to tell you about today's sponsor, which is AG1. Recently, I have been ill. My health has not been good. I've been trying to look after myself a bit better. As part of that, I've been drinking AG1 every single day. This is a bag I have at home. I just put one scoop in here with cold water. Every single scoop has 75 vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that help to promote gut health, support immunity, boost energy and focus, and also helps recovery. AG1 is backed by science and obsessively researched. And if you think it's gonna taste horrible, it actually tastes really good. It gives me peace of mind to know that I'm getting comprehensive nutrition even when I'm busy or when I'm traveling. And when I am traveling, these are little travel packs which I've been taking everywhere with me. I've got loads in my bag right now. Click the link down below and you will get five free travel packs and a year's supply of D3K2 with your first purchase. You can't put a price tag on your own health. Yeah. Um. I'm swimming with sharks today. I really wish I was joking, but here I am signing away my life. So they're not gonna have a little bite, no? No. Except for the person that got bitten a month ago in the same place. Oh my God. Oh my God. I said they were nursery sharks. I thought that meant they were gonna be small. They're not small. Oh my days. They're huge. Here goes nothing. Relax, relax, and just try to float, okay? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I haven't quite realized what I'm doing yet. Oh. They were touching me. Oh my god, that was terrifying. I eventually got myself together and realized that I might never get to do this again. So I had to go out there and make the most of it. I can't believe I just swam a shark. We then swam to a sandbank, ate some much needed food, and headed back to Mafushi Island. Now back at Bikini Beach. I need to go to the toilet. It's one of those fish I saw yesterday. It's literally a baby shark. Hey, get off. It's not yours. Hey. Oh boy. That. Today was a good day. I faced a fear of mine and it felt amazing. But to really understand why these local islands aren't as popular, I needed to experience the luxury side. And this is our boat to get to the resort. We've slightly upgraded. And just when I thought my day couldn't get better, I saw dolphins for the first time in my life. I can't believe I just saw dolphins. That has honestly made my day. However, in the distance, I spotted a weird looking island, which I later found out to be a big pile of trash. Ilifushi is an artificial island made back in the 90s with the sole purpose of being a landfill. Would you look at this place? Wow. I did tell you guys, it's rainy season. I'm not even mad about the rain, you know? I'm literally on a private island. I've arrived quite early, so I can't check in quite yet. I need to feed myself. $34 for a club sandwich, $30 for a pizza. Can I get the house cheeseburger, please? I just spent $11 on a Corona. Room 215. Welcome to my room. This room cost me $217.66 in taxes. I'm gonna show you around. You can tell me whether it's worth it. That is really good value for the Maldives. Oh, this is nice. Here we have a modern day television, Netflix, and all that good stuff. A very stocked mini fridge. Got me some macaroons. The room is humongous. And if I take you through the back here, Sorry, both my hands are full. We have the semi-outdoor bathroom. In here we have the bogger. A humongous bathtub. I could probably fit like three people in here. The outdoor shower. And I guess if it's raining outside, the best part about the gaff is the fact I'm literally on the beach. Behind me is my beach villa or bungalow. I don't know what it's called. And this is the beach. Oh my day. Let's get this spa menu. See how much it is for a massage. Oh my $145 for a 60 minute massage. I didn't want to massage that badly. I was told you could walk around the island in under 20 minutes and I wanted to see if they were lying. Wow, this is actually so beautiful. What the hell? 
the resort has five different restaurants, a gym, tennis court, an infinity pool, which is right behind me, a spa, a ton of different water sports, jet skiing, wakeboarding. I think I understand why everyone stays in the resort, but you really don't have to spend a lot of money to come to the Maldives. If you want to swim with sharks and see the same beautiful beaches, you don't have to pay that big price tag. 17 minutes to walk around the whole island. 